you are most welcome in the name of Jesus. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this video, wherever you are watching from, may God bless you in the name of Jesus. May God be your strength. In any condition, may God be your strength. Thank you for coming. Please subscribe if you have not. And turn on the bell so that you will always get notification. I come here to pray with you every day and go on live every Sunday. And testimonies are coming. Your life will never be the same. All you need to do is to join us. Is to come and receive your miracle. So today, I'm going to bring to you a powerful message. A powerful prayer. Pray like this to command favor. See, whenever you wake up in the morning, before you go out to start hustling, before you go out in search of your food, make sure you prophesy this upon yourself. Never you go out without doing this. Never you go out without doing this. I see many business people. I see many people when they are going out. They are in haste. They forget to pray. They forget to seek the face of God. They are rushing. Even when they are praying, they are rushing their prayers. You don't know what you will meet. In the street, there are accidents happening. Kidnapping, killing, hardship, failure. But when you equip yourself, the Bible says our weapon is not carnal. When you are leaving your home in the morning, well equipped, with blessing, with favor, then you will be able to skate through the tough situation. You will be able to attract favor. You will put in little effort and yield loss of result. See, no matter what you do, you pray. Even on this channel, I pray before I make any video. And as a YouTuber, I am not in competition with anybody. The revenue I get every month from this place is more than enough for me. And from my other businesses, do not compete. Do not compete with anybody. And always pray on what you do. Everything I do, I pray. Before I came here now, I've prayed. The people watching this video, I've prayed for all of you. The blessings of the Lord will come gradually. As you are putting in effort, you will be seeing results. Know this. So when you wake up every morning, start your day with this prayer and see the difference in your life. If you are the type, you work hard and you don't get results. If you are the type, you put in effort and nothing is working. If you are the type, no matter what you do, money does not come out. You are still borrowing. You are still struggling. If you are the type, nothing is working. You are always at the same spot. Your effort is not yielding results. Start your day with this prayer and see the difference in your life. So when you wake up from sleep, start from today or maybe tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow because as at now, maybe you have already woken up or maybe when you are seeing this video, the time has gone. But if you see this video in the morning, do it immediately before going out. Always start your day with this, okay? So the first thing you do is to ask for forgiveness. Tell God you are sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive my sins. Lord, wipe away my sins. Lord, blot out my transgressions. Wash out my sins with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood Jesus has shed, Lord, forgive my sin. Always add that. Because of the blood Jesus has shed, Lord, forgive my sin. Because of the blood Jesus has shed, Lord, forgive my sin. Because of the blood Jesus has shed, Lord, forgive my sin. And as you are praying that, be ready to abstain from sin. 
be ready to walk in a righteous life. I know that you cannot be perfect. Nobody is righteous, but try your best to do good things. Try your best to avoid hurting people. Try your best to show love to people around you, to do good things. You know the will of the Lord. You know the will of the Lord. You know what God wants you to do, to do these things. And you thank God. Always learn to thank God. Appreciate God for waking up, for all the good things he has done for you. You went out, you came back. You slept, you woke up. That is the power of God. So when you are done, you are going to say this prayer. I sprinkle my life with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my life. The blood of Jesus. 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 Sprinkle the blood of Jesus 24 times on your body before going out and see the difference. That is one. Whatever you do, any business you do, anything you do, sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon it. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus on my products. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus on my business. No matter what you do, maybe you are not a business person, but you are working on a project or you have a job or anything you want God to grow up or you want God to give you a job. I sprinkle my job with the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle my job search with the blood of Jesus. Everything I do with my hands is sprinkled with the blood of Jesus. 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 Blood of Jesus. My efforts, my effort, my hard work, is sprinkled with the blood of Jesus. I will no longer labor in vain. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon your effort, upon your strength, upon your hard work, so that your hard work will no longer be in vain, okay? So when you are done, say this prayer. Dear creator of heaven and earth, dear creator of heaven and earth, you ask us to cast out our burdens unto Jesus Christ. You ask us to cast out our burdens unto Jesus Christ. For he cares for us. For he cares for us. Look at the birds in the sky. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not reap or gather bands. They do not reap or gather bands. They do not reap or gather bands. But trust that the Father will always provide. But trust that the Father will always provide. But trust that the Father will always provide. So if you did not get this, you can go back. Okay? Take this video back and write down this prayer. What is this prayer saying? The creator of heaven and earth, our Lord God has told you to cast your burden on Jesus Christ. What is burden? Your problem. That difficult situation. That hardship. That thing you are going through. Whether it's poverty. Whether it's sickness. Whether it's stagnation. Whether it's delay. Whether it's barrenness. Whether it's anything at all you are going through. Cast it upon Jesus Christ. Leave it for Jesus. Pour your burdens on Jesus. Leave that difficult situation upon him. Let him solve your problem. Take a look at the bears of the sky. Take a look at them. Take a look at them. They don't struggle like we do. They don't bother about what to eat or how to live or which work to do. They don't struggle at all, but yet they are still living. But yet, they are still breathing because God provides. God will always provide. So do not worry so much about what you will eat. Do not bother so much about what you will do or how you will get money. Trust the Lord in heaven will always provide. This is what this prayer is talking about. And this prayer was taken from Psalm 55 verse 22. 
Psalm 55, verse 22. Psalm 55, verse 22. And Matthew 6, verse 26. So now say this prayer. Lord God in heaven, you have told us to leave our burdens for Jesus Christ. You have told us to drop our worries upon Jesus Christ. You have told us to leave our problems for you that we should not bother. You can feed the birds of the air who do not struggle at all, but yet they are still living. I trust you, O oh Lord, to provide my needs. I trust you, O oh Lord, to provide me and grant me my heart desire. I know that you will answer me. This is the prayer. You must not use the exact words that you have just written down. You know what it is talking about. Just pray on that area. Start your prayer like that. Father in heaven, you have said that we should cast our burden on Jesus Christ. You have said that we should not worry again. You have said that we should leave our problem for you to solve. Lord God, I leave my problem for you. Lord God, I cast my body on Jesus Christ. You feed the best of the earth. Even without effort, they are still living and breathing. I trust you to provide my needs. I trust you, Almighty God, to provide my needs. I trust you, King of Glory, to provide my needs. I trust you, Heavenly Father, to provide my needs. When you are done, now tell God your need. Always start your prayer like this. Tell God your need. God, I need this. I need customers in my business. I need patronage. Lord, speak favor in my business. Attract growth in my business. Lord, help me find a good job. Lord, Grow me up. Lord, I need a child. Lord, open my womb and bless me with children. Lord, give me my life partner. God, give me a person that is God-fearing and kind. Lord, bless me. Lord, do this. Lord, do this. Tell God what you want now. But do not just jump into Lord, do this. Start with this prayer. After you have covered yourself with the blood of Jesus. 24 times, 24 times. And cover your effort, your hard work, what you do with the blood of Jesus. 24 times again. Heavenly Father, you have said that we should leave our burdens on you. We should forget our problems and cast our burdens on Jesus Christ. Lord God, you can feed the best of the air who do not even make any effort. Lord God, I trust you to provide my needs. I trust you to bless me with all I need. Now tell God what you want. Pray like this and see a difference in your life. And see if that situation will not change. And see if Good luck will not come to you. And see if doors will not open. Pray like this and come for testimony. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And make sure the bell is turned on so that you can always get notification. You come and watch and God will bless you abundantly.